this episode of Fully Involved. If I'm pushing down the hallway, this is the vent point that I've created. Yeah. So as I'm pushing down, everything that I'm doing with my movement and any type of air entrainment is still going to do what? Yeah. It's going to meet me back in my exhaust point because this is the open. The crew is back at Connecticut Fire Academy to look at air entrainment and ventilation from four different angles. A smooth bore versus a fog nozzle in a vent limited situation and then a smooth bore versus a fog in a partially ventilated environment. And instructor Pete Morado breaks it down in a tailboard talk. The Fully Involved crew is back for a fourth and final episode at Connecticut Fire Academy with instructors Pete Morado and Brian Hurst. Episode 8 was all about a short-staffed push. Episode 9 looked at exterior water application. Episode 10 showcased water mapping on a second floor push. And now in episode 11, it's all about air entrainment. How much air you're pushing with your nozzle and why that matters. What we'll do is we'll do an air entrainment demonstration. We'll close the hallway off from the room. We'll open up the door on the other side so we get an airflow going through it. And we'll demonstrate how much air gets entrained with the use of a straight stream, with a variable uh, fog stream at a 30 degrees, and do the same thing with the smooth bore. You can see the difference just with the streamers that we use behind here uh, at the opener. And then we'll close the door and do the same activity. So this is basically a vent limited fire, not how much air is actually getting entrained um, with the same nozzle application. Okay, so air entrainment for a vent limited fire. Again, what am I doing as I'm pushing air? I'm intensifying the fire, right? I'm pushing the product back on myself. So the best case scenario is remote vent point away from the nozzle. But most times we don't work in that because why? There's reflex time for remote vent. There's reflex time for either outside vent position. There's reflex time for topside ventilation. So most of the time we work in the exhaust. And while working in the exhaust, that's where getting that optimal water mapping correctly and water distributed from position advantage is gonna go ahead and control that common hallway, control that environment and make our push easier. So vent limited is the most common and what you need to be aware of. Depending, again, just through my experience, yeah. just the way we operate, right? Sure. We're always working in that exhaust initially until, until things are done on scene to obviously create farther vent limits. Yeah, unless a window goes Except, out. Unless a window fails, yeah, right? Yeah. But we know those days are few and far between because the windows now, the, right. the construction of the windows are you know, the old single pane windows that used to take, they used to pop with a hose stream, that doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, so your, sure. your vented fire attack where you're mm -hmm. pushing all the fuel and fumes away from you, that's only happening, primarily happening with coordination of ventilation. Right, you need that vent point to do that. Yeah. Other than that, you're working in the exhaust. So if you're making that turbulent environment in the exhaust, where it's all coming back at you. Yeah. Time to see these principles in action. First, a vent limited situation with a smooth bore. Captain Murado moves the flaps by whipping the nozzle. But with no place for the air to go, the exhaust comes back at him, pushing the flaps from left to right. Pushing air into it with the nozzle, with the movement. So if we have that vent point, that remote vent point, obviously the nozzle pattern, if we go for that full whip, right, are we pushing a little bit more air? Absolutely. Okay. So that's truly understanding vent and vent limited as to how we're going to be effective as nozzle people, how we're going to be safe on the fire. Then it's time to see how the fog nozzle moves air. Right away, I'm straight, I'm right, straight stream, uh, make sure I'm right to fight, okay? Uh, being in the vent, working in the exhaust again, this is where it would be critical not to be in that fog because then we're going to push and we're working in the exhaust so we will feel the effects and such. In straight stream mode, same results as the smooth bore, low movement from the flaps. But when Murado goes to the fog pattern, there's a noticeable difference in the flap movement. Especially if I hit low, right now you'll feel the air rush over because we're working in the exhaust. All right, so this is why we would not want to do this. I can feel the effects on me right now, working in the exhaust, right? That's what that air entrainment is going to show. So if we're working, so with vent limited, what that means for us as a nozzle person, 
If I'm going down this hallway, there's a good fire. Mm -hmm. We're working in the exhaust, right? Does that make sense? If I'm pushing down the hallway, this is the vent point that I've created. Yep. So as I'm pushing down, everything that I'm doing with my movement and any type of air entrainment is still gonna do what? Yep. It's gonna meet me back in my exhaust point because this is the open, yep. right? Yep. If I have a remote vent point, yep. right? That's just good old basic coordinated fire attack at that point, yeah, yeah. right? So I'm pushing everything out that way. As I'm doing so, I'm making a tenable position by cooling the common hallway, by using the reach of the stream from position of advantage and cooling the areas as I move. You could see the difference with the working of the stream, whipping the stream around, right? Yeah, yeah did I get water moving? Of course, but what did I also get? Minimal air entrainment with a smooth bore. But when I stopped and I just did the movement, the slow methodical movements with the hose line, what did I end up getting, right? I got water distributed where actually I wanted it to be, and I did it a lot quicker and efficient. The crew opens the back door now to demonstrate how a vent point changes air movement. Now you're gonna see air, you're gonna feel, you should probably see these start to move a little bit because we have a vent point now. So now with that vent point away from us, we're gonna start to now push, right? So now you'll see the stream difference with air and train. major change from the vent limited test. Even the smooth bore nozzle is making the flaps go at a medium to high clip. So again, you can see the difference right there just with air and train. And that's with the smooth bore nozzle, okay? So we'll show you fog and how it's gonna make a little bit of a difference. But just as we talked about from the nozzle person's approach, just easier on the nozzle person, right? If we had to make a long hallway and keep pushing through this place, more and more and more of this, we know you're gonna get a little tired, right? And what were we doing? We were entraining a little bit more air. That dramatic movement is even higher with the fog nozzle in the fog pattern. Major air being moved. Now I would get more of what? I get more of my push. The air now is going past me, right? Look at that. But again, we're gonna move air. That is air entraining. Okay, so again, if we didn't have that vent point ahead of us, right? This is why fog streams work very well for what? I draw ventilation. Doing exactly what we want to do. All right, moving air. Very good for hydraulic ventilation under those conditions, or if we were always working in the push, but usually the case is that's not what it's going to be. Right, so we're creating too much turbulent flow. Well, what if you wanted to move a large amount of air when hydraulically ventilating, but on a smooth bore nozzle? That's where the vortex comes in. It's an adjustable smooth bore. When it goes to vortex pattern, we're gonna get that much more uh, air entrainment. You can tell by the ribbons. It's, and I think it's really comparable to a fog nozzle. But it's not smooth bore pressure, smooth bore pressure. Now Captain Morado ties it all together with a tailboard talk. Right, we want we want reach. Yeah. Right, so fog, a fog or a variable stream pattern is gonna do well from the outside if it's an exposure line, if we're trying to stop that radiant heat, um, you know, if we're trying to stop exposure from catching on fire, but to truly get that wrap, because at that point you want gallonage and you want to get there. So we gotta have that solid stream to get it where it needs to be. That's just my opinion, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yes, that's just my opinion based on experience. Yeah. Um, but applications will vary based on building construction, based on tactics around the country. But for, for Northeast firefighting, you, you will find that most, uh, most uh, shops are gonna use smooth bore or a variation of a straight stream on a fog nozzle. Everything from yeah. position of advantage to side of the hallway to application of the water to movement of the stream is exactly the same. Yeah. And you can see where if we're, if we're coining it as residential structure firefighting, this works, this works because Think about your normal residential size structure. From the front from the front door hallway, I could reach most of that first floor with a good position of advantage from my hose line. Right? I'm not saying I'm gonna stay there, mm -hmm. but I'm slowing it down so I can reset it to figure out what's going on, where's the fire coming from, what's the extension, how severe is it? 
right? A lot of times we don't know that. You just take the door and you get that small box. There's a lot of energy coming out of that box, okay? You're getting turbulent smoke. You're getting turbulent push, push, push. A lot of times we miss what is truly burning and what's going on, right? A significant foam mattress burning in a small bedroom is gonna look like the end of the world for us, where that's all it is because that's all we're seeing. Now, if I cool those fire gases, start to deflect that stream into that room, I'm gonna slow the process of that flow path down. We're gonna have an easier time working in the exhaust, getting to the point of origin. Wanna take your residential attack to the next level? Schedule a demo at tft.com demo so you can perform at your best.